Hey, queen. So today, we're going to be juicing. Well, I'm going to be juicing. You're not going to watch me juice because you don't need to see that. But I am going to give you tips because sometimes um, the biggest thing about juicing is that the cleanup is really annoying. Um, the kind of juicer I have is a Hamilton Beach. I got it from Amazon, I think, for about like $60 or $70. It's like, it was really affordable. The biggest thing about trying to keep um, cleanup as minimal as possible is trying this trick. Get a plastic bag, girl. Put it in the pulp catcher. And then, when you're done, you're gonna take it out and either throw it away or, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to make pulp crackers. Ooh. So more tips for juicing. If you're juicing with things that have a lot of pulp or um, just, I don't know, are kind of mushy, I would kind of do those first. So I put the orange in first. I know we, I, there's like an orange juicer thing, but I feel like I'm not getting what I want from it. I put in the pulpy things and then I put something like an apple afterwards to kind of just like push it through, you know? And um, combining juices that you're not really sure if they're good together. I have messed up so many juice batches because I put like just bad things together. So what I do if I'm afraid if it's not gonna go well together, I just um, juice all the, like the, all the oranges and then all the apples and all the pears and just do them in separate um, like jars and then combine them later to see if they're good and I find that really helpful because sometimes also if I make if I put ginger in then I put too much ginger and then it's just too overpowering so sometimes I just um, juice the ginger separately and then add it in because then that keeps you from messing up an entire batch so I'm gonna watch scrubs on Netflix and juice and then after that, we're gonna try to make juice pulp chips. Nope, you thought I was kidding. I'm literally watching Scrubs and juicing right now. This is the life. Another quick tip. Watch your juice pulp. Make sure it's not blocking the little exit because if it starts blocking, then the juice pulp will go into the spinning blades, and then the juice will just come out of everywhere. So watch it to make sure all the juice is coming, or the pulp is making, it's making its way into the container. So, pow, and we're back. Check this out, it's a whole bag of juice pulp. We have carrots, apples, pears, oranges, um, grapefruit, it's gonna be amazing. So basically, since you have it in this bag, you basically just mush it up for a while. And then when you feel like all the pulp has been evenly distributed, you're gonna put it on some pans. I don't know, the recipe said 300, but I'm like, I'm tired, I wanna go to bed. So, um, I put it up to 400, you'll go. I mean, okay, this is not gonna be like a sweet carrot cake or anything like that. But at least you're not wasting the pulp and you're not just like throwing it away, you know? So this is just a good alternative use for it. Bow. So let's see how these turn out. Who knows? Pow, pow! About 30 to 45 minutes. About to change, get kind of late. And I'm gonna go to sleep right after this. And let's see if this stuff is good. So in my attempt to speed up the process, I have burnt it a little bit, so snaps for me. That's what you get for trying something new. But I bet this would go well with some peanut butter. Crunchy, duh. Mmm, I don't know about that one. I 
I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, but this is what has happened, and that is the joy of trying new things. See you later. Across the water